guys, Lizzie Waterworth Santo here, aka voice actor in cartoons. Uh, welcome to my new channel, uh, which I started recently because I've been getting loads and loads of questions from people about the voice acting world and how is a cartoon episode made? How do you get an audition? So uh, one big question that's come up is what actually happens at a recording studio? How do you record an episode uh, for a series? So I thought what better way to show you than to take you with me. So I'm about to head into London now. I have my mask ready and my water ready. Water is very important for a voice actor. You take water everywhere. And I will see you soon. So here we are at the studio. I'm gonna take you into the booth at the studio. This is Patch who owns and runs the studio. Patch is awesome. Hi there. And he does all the cool buttons and makes it sound amazing. And then over here is where the client might usually sit, but not so much at the moment because things are being done more virtually, I guess. And then you can see the booth through there. That's the voice booth that I'm going to be standing in. And um, so today we are doing a pilot, which is like a, a test run, I guess, like a first episode, would you say, Patch? Yes, it's a pilot for hopefully a two episode series. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Cool. No pressure. <laughs> Patch, any advice for any budding voice actors? Uh, my advice would be stick at it, uh, believe in yourself and don't try and do anything that you're not very good at. That's good advice. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, stick at it. Keep uh, get, get, get out there and get in front of people and talk to people and um, look for an opportunity. And then when um, you get in the studio, give it 110%. Be yep. prepared. Yeah. That's great advice. Patch is one of the best in the biz. You've got, you have everybody here. There's like, there's always people here. It's always busy. You've got yeah. celebrities here all the time. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. Let's go go go. Go go go. Yeah. Who's, who, do you have any favourites? Any uh, favourites? Well, we're doing the David Wiley book, which is oh, always great fun because we have lots of different actors that come in and do all the different voices. Nice. And um, that makes us. There's a lot of work. We do all the sound design and music and sound effects. And um, David comes in and does his uh, narration. Um, and yeah, and it, it all stitches together into a fabulous, wacky production. Cool. Brilliant. Thanks, Patch. So here we are in the recording booth. Uh, you can see through the glass screen. That's where Patch, who's running the session, will sit and press all the buttons. And then this is the microphone. So as I said earlier, you always need to have your water ready. It's very, very important to have water because when you're doing a lot of shouting, your voice gets kind of tired. So I will stand here, which is about, probably about 50 centimeters behind the microphone, uh, but that can change depending on the scene because sometimes if you need to do a really, really quiet voice, you need to be really near the mic. But if you're yelling, you need to stand back or you're gonna like blow the system. You don't want to do that. So that is the mic setup. The pop shield is this thing here, and that is for when you do things like your p -p -p peas. They don't blow the system because peas can do that. So that just stops that uh, from that p -p 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 sound. And there's a misconception, I think, that when you do cartoon voices, you have to make your voice like really squeaky and really cartoon sound like it. Um, but actually, sometimes, uh, especially at the moment, it's a lot more natural sounding. So um, clients seem to want like more natural kid sound voices. So, you know, so she maybe talk like that or something, but um, so not like really screechy, but just with a little bit of edge maybe, just to uh, give her a little kick. Uh, or if it's a boy, and, uh, and you know what, it just sounds really, really raspy, just bring him down so he's just like a cool, chill kid, you know? So there's so many different ways um, that you can do your character voices, but, um, but it's not always really, really screechy. Sometimes it is, but not always. We're just waiting for the client to dial in and then we'll be off. Um, I won't be able to record the session, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what it's like in the voice booth. So that was an example of a studio that I voice at sometimes. Uh, I go to lots of different studios, um, they're dotted about all over the place. Um, so it just depends on the project, which studio you go to. In my last video, Andrew from America uh, wrote in the comments if you could work with any voice actor, who would it be? Uh, which is a really good question. I would have to say the late Robin Williams um, because he was just, for me, the ultimate voiceover guy. Like, his his voices are just insanely good. Um, but he's sadly no longer with us. 
Um, I have got to work with some people that I really look up to as actors. Um, they've been very fortunate to work with uh, Richard E. Grant um, when we did the Mowgli stories uh, for Audible. And that was such an experience because he's just so good, so talented, um, amazing voice. Uh, but I would pick the Frozen cast because I just think their singing, as an ensemble, their singing is fab. Their, their voices together just go really well. I love Olaf's voice, Josh Gad, he's so funny. Um, so yeah, I think I'd pick the Frozen cast. I think that would be so much fun to do something with them. I've been asked by quite a few people if I can give some tips uh, to anyone who wants to get into voice acting. Um, so perhaps you're at school and you're thinking about it as a future career, or maybe you're at drama school, or maybe you've graduated, or maybe you're thinking of a changing career and wondering if you could do voices. So in the next video, I will give my top tips uh, for anyone wanting to get into voice acting. Um, and they won't just be from me, they'll be from other people who, who work in our industry. So uh, yeah, if you like the sound of that, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Uh, stay safe, stay creative. Bye for now.